in a quaint village nestled between the rolling hills and a whispering grove of ancient trees. There lived a wise old woman named Elara. She was known throughout the village for her profound knowledge and gentle heart. Alara's house stood on the outskirts of the village. Near the edge of the enchanting grove where the villagers often ventured to find solace and inspiration. One day, as the golden sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink, a group of young children decided to explore the mysterious grove. They had heard tales of its magic and the wise woman who resided nearby. But none had ever dared to venture so deep into its heart. The children's curiosity and bravery led them to Alara's doorstep. Elara greeted the children with a warm smile. Sensing their excitement and eagerness to learn, she invited them into her humble abode, where shelves lined with ancient books and walls adorned with intricate paintings filled the room. With an air of wisdom and wonder. Welcome, young ones. Elara began. I see you've come seeking the secrets of the Whispering Grove. But before I reveal its mysteries, I must share with you a story about a lesson that lies at the heart of this place. A lesson about respect. The children gathered around Elara, their eyes wide with anticipation, ready to soak in the wisdom she was about to impart. A long time ago, Elara began. In a distant land, there lived two neighboring kingdoms these kingdoms had always been at odds. With each believing that their ways were superior, they never missed an opportunity to belittle one another. And their lack of respect had fueled a deep-seated animosity for generations. One year, a grand festival was announced. A celebration of unity and peace. It was decided that the event would take place in the very grove you now seek. Kings, queens, and dignitaries from both kingdoms were to attend. And the air was filled with anticipation. The grove, with its ancient trees and mystical aura, was chosen as a neutral ground. A symbol of harmony. As the festival drew near, the villagers, tired of the age-old feud, decided to send a humble delegation to the grove. Led by a wise elder from their midst his name was Loran. A man known not for his wealth or power, but for his unwavering respect for all living beings. Loran believed that respect was the foundation upon which true understanding and peace could be built. As the sun rose on the day of the festival, the grove was alive with excitement. Dignitaries from both kingdoms arrived, bringing their traditions, music, and delicacies. The atmosphere was festive. Yet a palpable tension lingered in the air. Amidst the grandeur and the clashing of cultures, Loran approached the kings of both kingdoms, each seated on a magnificent throne. He bowed humbly and spoke. Great kings, I ask that you put aside your differences and see the beauty in each other's ways. Let respect and understanding guide your hearts. For in doing so, you honor the spirit of this grove and all it stands for. The kings, moved by Loran's words, looked at each other, then at the grove around them, and finally back at Loran. They saw the truth in his plea. Slowly, they stood, embraced, and agreed to find common ground. The feuding kingdoms decided to work together, sharing their knowledge, resources, and traditions. And in doing so, they became stronger and wiser than they could have ever been on their own. The Whispering Grove witnessed this transformation. And its ancient trees whispered tales of unity, respect, and the power of understanding. From that day forward, the grove became a place where people from all walks of life would gather to learn from one another. To respect each other's differences and to embrace the beauty of diversity. Elara looked at the children, their faces reflecting the warmth of the lesson she had shared. Respect, my dear children, is the cornerstone of harmony. Just as those kingdoms discovered the power of respect, so can each one of us in our daily lives. When we respect others, 
their beliefs, and their uniqueness. We create a world where differences are celebrated, and unity blossoms. The children left Alara's house that day with hearts full of gratitude, ready to share the lesson of respect they had learned with their village. Just as Loran had shared it with the feuding kingdoms and from that moment on, the village near the Whispering Grove became a shining example of unity, where respect for one another's differences became a way of life, creating a tapestry of harmony that spanned generations to come.